sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here and today we're going to be doing another toy unboxing but this time it will be of the Mesco 112 Collective Blade. So let's get into it and open up this figure here. So we got to remove the slipcover with all the regular releases from Mesco and then they are not taped. So you just open that up. As, uh, if you do collect Mezcos, then you know with the slope cover and everything on, they do wrap it in plastic and then tape it. But I usually open mine on the top, as I've been saying in my unboxing videos. And I hate that they include these because they always just get in my way. Well, this is actually different. That's more like instructions. So it's telling you that the figure sword sheath clips onto a magnet clip that holds onto the figure's back with a magnet. Sheath can be worn on top of coat or without coat. At least they're giving you instructions now. I know they did do it with the Iron Man figure as well. So pretty cool that they did include that. This is the one I don't like. It's like, I don't care about this. Stop throwing that in there. <laughs> I don't think most people care about it, but let's open this up here and take a closer look at Blade. Get that out of the way here. Alrighty. He had a plastic bag on his head. Let's get this out of here. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm getting a cold. A sinus cold. So it's... I, I, I could just tell when I'm getting sick. And I hate when I get sick. I really can't stand it. Because then it makes you work slower at work. But whatever. I'm not going to talk about that. But the figure... The figure looks pretty cool. I'm digging it. I just don't like how the belt is sitting up so high. It is a separate piece, so you can shift it down. I just got to get it over the pants there, because it looks weird, like, sitting up that high. It does have a very uh, Wesley Snipes-type vibe to it. I think it's, like, their mixture of, like, a comic book, Wesley Snipes, and, like, their own take on Blade. Get the, uh, the leathery-type pants here, as you can see. Boots look pretty cool. Double jointed elbows. Let's take a look at the other head sculpt, which is my favorite out of the two. And I do wish they gave us like a smiling head sculpt. But oh well. I don't want to swap that one out because that one I don't care for. There we go. That's the badass head sculpt right there. Yeah, that looks sick. You know, the eyes. Oh, the eyes kind of derpy. Come on, man. Mm, they're all right, I guess. I don't know. They look a little off, the eyes. The eyes look good on this one, but not on this one. Like, come on, Mesco. Really, dude? I mean, the figure itself looks pretty cool, though. And then he is included with a ton of accessories. Got a sword sheath, the clip with the magnet, as I was reading before. All the interchangeable hands, some gun blast effects, his uh, throwing blades and his stakes as well. So he definitely is loaded with a bunch of really cool stuff. I forgot to mention the trench coat he's included with, and then we do get the stand, but I forgot to show the shotgun, and then we do get his uh, submachine gun as well. So totally forgot he was included with the guns also. But uh, definitely excited for this guy, and this is going to be my next review. Hopefully I will get better soon, so I'm not still sick because I can't stand being sick but let me know in the comments below uh, what your first thoughts are on this figure from this video here hope you enjoyed the video if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you don't like it oh well, i guess you don't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later